Okay, I've got another video here. Uh, I wanted to explain something uh, about the drive clutches. Uh, this is a drive clutch out of a 2000 uh, gas club car. And what I wanted to show you, this is, uh, this club car is in, this, this clutch is kind of, it's kind of messed up. This is, there's no clip underneath here, no clip underneath there. Uh, and that's the main thing I want to tell you about is these clips. There is a clip under here. Um, one of the differences between the 88 to 96 clutch and the 97 and up clutch is the positioning of the clip underneath here. And like I said, these two are missing. I don't know what happened to them. If they broke off and somehow exited the clutch at one point, there should be clips in here. But this clutch was making a noise before I took it off, it was making a noise on startup. It was like a tink, 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 tink. And, you know, I don't know, I, I, it could have been this, but I don't, you know, it's, they're pretty loose. And the clutch wasn't opening all the way, which made me wonder if these were getting wedged uh, inside the, uh, you know, the, the shaft, the, uh, whatever you call these things that, the, that, that they ride in. I don't know if maybe they were getting wedged and it was causing it to not open all the way, but they're missing the clips. But here I'll show you what this what this clip is. Let's take this one screw off. And set that off to the side. You take your button off. And there's this clip. It's just a metal clip. And it can go on either way. This one is off of a 2000 and it was put in on this side. But if you have a, an older uh, counterclockwise motor, you might wanna flip this over. Now, I don't know how important this is or how crucial it is that this be on this side or on the other side. Um, I imagine they designed that way, so maybe, maybe there is something to that. But I just wanted to make you aware of it if you really wanted to be super careful you might want to take your, your newer clutch apart and, and flip this over to the other side uh, to the opposite, the direction of whatever the clutch, you know, if you get a 97 clutch, 97 and up clutch um, for your older uh, motor that runs counterclockwise, you might want to pop this open and flip these around. But like I said, I, I bought a 97 and up clutch and I put it on my 90 in the other video and I didn't do any of this. I didn't really bother with flipping this around. Um, and I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to because the clutch works great as it is. I think I'm probably just going to leave it on as kind of a, a guinea pig to see if the buttons fail as a result of me not flipping this around because I just, I'm not convinced that it's a crucial thing that you have to do, uh, when you put a newer clutch on an older, uh, on an older, um, you know, counterclockwise motor, if you put a, a a clockwise motor or a clockwise clutch on a counterclockwise motor I just don't know if this is that crucial uh, that you have to do this in order to uh, to run it so far I, you know, I've been running mine for several months and the clutch works great and I did not flip these around uh, on my you know putting that newer clutch on the older golf cart so but I just wanted to show you what that was if you are absolutely wanting to be you know puritanical about this and you get that newer clutch before you put it on, you can pop it open. Um, in order to pop it open, this one's our, I've already I've already broken it open with the three-hole puller, but but that's how you do it. Um, the clutch is basically on here like this, and you use a three-hole puller, kind of like a steering wheel puller. It has a big bolt that goes down in the middle. Three bolts go in here. You just crank down on that center bolt until it pops open, and it just pops it open, and then you can have access. And there's just these three bolts that take the buttons off. Like I said, these ones are missing. That one's not missing. These two are missing. So I don't know what happened there. If somebody was inside this thing and maybe they just didn't put it back in or if they disintegrated and somehow exited, I, I have no idea. But, uh, but anyway, you know, those clips, um, apparently they do get flipped side to side depending on, you know, which direction the clutch goes. But I just don't, I'm not sure if that's a crucial thing that you have to do, but there it is. I just wanted to explain that in a video that there is a difference in that way. The, the clip is the same part number 
it's the same thing no matter what clutch it's just how is it installed you know inside the clutch and so if you have a you know depending on your direction you might want to flip those but like i said i'm i did one on mine and i did not flip these and like i said i don't think i'm going to i'm gonna go ahead and just see what happens see if it lasts but you know again this clutch this clutch is in pretty bad shape already i mean this would require a decently involved rebuild but uh anyway okay that's all i got